Hi everybody, Adam the OT back again with another very simple, very fun and super effective activity for Kelly therapy and home learning. Today's one is a great activity called Jug Jailbreak. Okay, for this one we need a jug, anything that will hold water really. So it can be a jug, it can be a milk bottle, can be a uh, water bottle, anything you like. Smaller ones will be a little bit easier and heavy ones or larger jugs will be more challenging for older kids. To show you that grading, I've got two little volunteers with me today. My first volunteer is... Abby! This is Abby and... Mia! Abby and Mia. And Abby and Mia have brought two of their favorite little toys here. And I'm going to do something mean with them, okay? So Abby has got this little unicorn guy. Called Sparkle. Sparkle. This is a Sparkle unicorn. Okay. And Mia has got this little squishy whale. And your whale is called... Whaley. Whaley, originally. Here you go. Here you go, Whaley. Okay, you hold on to your guys. Okay? Yeah. So, what we need is I'm going to take that little squishy toy, okay? Can I see Whaley? All right. And I'm going to take Whaley and, oh no, Whaley was captured by the bodies. And I'm going to put Whaley in jail. So the water bottle is going to be my jail. And I've drawn on little bars. I've done this before, and just to make it fast for the video. But you can absolutely do this. You decorate and create the jail with the kid. Okay? You relax there, Rockstar. Okay? I'm going to throw Whaley in the jail. Ah, no, Whaley's trapped. we got to get him out. But we can't put it down. Stay in your chair there, missus. We can't put it down, and we can't tip it over. So all we can do is we need to put water in it and let Whaley swim to the top, and maybe he can escape. So I've got Mia, a little pot of water here. I'm going to give her a cup. To make it a little easier, I can use a plastic cup, but it's actually slightly easier if I use a paper cup and give it a little squish. So it's going to make a little spout. Then as we fill this up, watch it, Mia. See Whaley? She's going to hold it up with one hand, fill it up with the other hand, and Whaley's going to come up near the top. Now you can imagine, guys, if you're watching, especially for therapists, this stabilization from the shoulder to keep this bottle up, we don't want to put it down, it's going to set out the alarms. And this other hand, doing the bilateral integration, doing that coordination, not to spill any water. The guards will hear the splashes if we spill it, and we get all the way up to the top, and then we can escape. Then we swap hands with it, okay? It's very motivating because it's this beautiful balance. You can carry on with that, Mia. Can you get way the eye? It's this amazing balance between something that's quite challenging and really tricky, as Abby's going to see in a second, and also massively motivating with a very simple, clear objective, okay? So rather than the small little jail that Mia has, Abby's going to have something worse. Uh, Sparkle must have done something really bad, a really bad guest capture, because Sparkle is going in the supermax milk is rise here, okay? So me and Abby decorated this one. She's got a bar, she's put a lock on the front, there's barbed wire around the top of it, there's laser beams on the top, so no way he's getting out. In you go, Sparkle, get in there. She's a mega jail. She's a mega jail, exactly, okay? So Abby's gonna try and do the same with them all. This is two liters, so as she's pouring this up, it's gonna get really tiring. That's a two kilogram isometric for how old? Six years old. A six year old girl, that's a tricky one. Abby is not one to back down from a challenge, so she's gonna give this a go, okay? So poor, 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 it's getting tiring. She's not afraid, thank you. She can swap hands if she wants, poor, poor, poor. All she's thinking about is trying to rescue her little buddy. Got it, got it. Excellent, Mia, well done you. Okay, you try and do it with the other hand. Here you go, Abby, all right? Now while they're doing it, you guys work on there, holding your jugs over the top of your water pots. There's a towel underneath it. When you're doing anything that's a little messy like this, plan for the mess and accept it. Not only accept it, embrace the messiness of it. So if you put that in a towel, if you have clothes you don't mind getting a little bit wet, then you can keep the fun going. It's when things get kind of too messy and out of control, then you sort of have to be the fun place and say, oh no, don't do that. Try not to have to say those things. If you engineer the activity where it's acceptable to have a certain amount of chaos, that adds to the fun. Yours is getting heavy. Oh, keep going, Mia. Now, if it gets really heavy, you can swap hands, okay? You're doing very, very well there. I'm almost really up good. to the bar. Very nice, Abby. You're going real fast, guy. Yep. So, the more you can give them... Ah! Oh, you can take a break, Mia, if you want to. To make this a little bit varied, what I'll do sometimes, I'll give the child like a sponge or like a turkey baster or anything else that'll carry water. No they can water. squeeze it to work in different grip patterns, to work in different styles or movements. Their goal is the exact same. <laughs> nice and quiet, Mia. Daddy's talking. Um, 
to work in different movement patterns, different styles of grips, but their objective is still the same. All they're thinking about is rescuing their little buddy from their, their jail that the mean bad guys oh put them in. Okay? Yeah, Doing great, yeah, Abby. It's very okay, nice. guys. That's all this exercise is. Very, very simple oh, yeah. one. Very nice, Mia. Mia's really, she's, maybe this is a bad lesson. Maybe we're teaching her to break out of jails. Hopefully she won't go into jails. Um, yeah. Um, the objective is super, super simpler. Similar. Is it? Super simple. Um, I've done this in clinic, in teletherapy, on gardens and patios and have like a very big, splashy, wet activity. You can control it very well, even in teletherapy. Just be mindful of there's electronics involved. You can use a small bottle and put it over the top of like a big pot and you can still control it really nicely. It's very fun, very motivating. And you have a Okay, very nice guys, all right. What do you think, Abby? Do you like this game? Yeah. Is it fun? Is it hard? Yes, very hard. First you might think it's pretty easy, but next, very hard. Very hard. What about you, Mia? Is it easy or hard? Easy. Easy for you. Oh, wow. Well. Okay, guys, that's it for me. So, in game, if you have any comments or questions, if you have any special activities you want to work on in teletherapy or home, feel free to send us a little message and we will do our best to write something just for you. Okay, do um, Find me on the Adam New Tea YouTube channel, on Instagram for Adam New Tea, and any other questions, just let me know in the comments. I've got it! Yay! Well done, Abby. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Say bye, Abby. Bye! 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 bye. Adam New Tea and family.